851, turn right, heading 180. Hey everyone, following on from the Trent 1010 issues and more generally engine issues, I thought I'd take a look at an incident which recently occurred on a Boeing 787 flight to Osaka. The airline operating the flight was Jetstar and the type, while on approach, was impacted by problems to the two engines. The Boeing 787, which was operating JQ-15, has the GENX, not the Trent 1000 engines, attached, and according to reports, saw an unexpected and also major surge in speed during part of the aircraft's crucial approach into the airport. Sources added that shortly after one engine experienced the surge, the second engine also had the same fate. The flight was carrying hundreds of passengers and originated in Cairns, which is up north Queensland, a state located on the northeastern side of Australia. At the time of recording, Jetstar, General Electric and also Boeing have decided to ground the aircraft as it's inspected by engineers to try and determine the cause of the surge and if it's either simply an isolated issue with the system of the 787. The incident took place on the 29th of March, but the pilots didn't declare an emergency, and despite the surge in speeds, they also did not request a priority landing either at the airport. This is potentially indicating to us that the pilots had the problem under control. The ATSB, also known as the Australian Transport Safety Bureau, said they were aware of the incident involving the Jetstar Boeing 787. They also said that they were in communication with the Japan Transport Safety Board regarding an investigation on the incident. This comes after it took place near Osaka, and therefore, the Japan Transport Safety Board can actually make a decision as to whether they want to launch an investigation into the incident. The ATSB, though, has vowed to launch their own investigation should Japan make the decision to not investigate it further. It's important to know that double engine failures, as many have called it, can happen and do happen. However, it's also a lot more common to see just one problem on an engine rather than a problem hitting two engines. This is why the ATSB is saying that this incident is serious and is also worth treating as a serious incident that needs proper thorough investigating. What are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comment section below. And as always, thank you very much for watching this video of mine. I do look forward to you all joining me in the next one. The night. Race all of these broken dreams in flight And we'll fly